Hello everyone, this is Noble H. Mustak, and today we are here with another main association of athletes problem from December 2011. Meet 3, round 3, lines, angles, and polygons, problem 3. Each side of a rectangular octagon is 4 units long. How long is its longest diagonal? Okay. So first, we draw the octagon, and then we try to figure out what's the longest diagonal. So, so AH and AB are just, like, sides. But if you draw AG and AC, those are diagonals that are that has one vertice in between them. But AD and AF has two vertices in between them. But A is the longest because there's three vertices in between A and E. So AE is the diagonal we're trying to find in this octagon. So what you have to realize here is that because there's eight points around the octagon. 4 is a factor of 8, so we, we can go around the octagon in 4 vertices, and then draw a square like that. So instead of going around like 8 vertices, I've draw, drawn a shortcut where I've drawn AG, which is a shortcut from A to G, and then GE, and then EC, and then AC. And then what we've basically done is drawn a square inside of the octagon. And with that, since AE is clearly the diagonal of this square, all we need to do is find the side length, such so as AC, and then you multiply the side length by radical 2. So that makes this problem a lot easier. And it gives us a way to do this using law of cosines. Since AB and BC are both 4 according to the problem, that's the side length, and then in any regular octagon, the interior angles are 135 degrees, so angle ABC is 135 degrees. So we use law of cosines, since we have AB, BC, two sides, and the angle in between them. So AC squared equals AB squared plus BC squared minus 2 AB, BC, cosine, M angle ABC. We substitute 4 and 135 degrees. And then 4 squared plus 4 squared is 2 times 4 squared. 2 times 4 times 4 is 2 times 4 squared. Cosine 135 is negative radical 2 over 2. These negatives cancel out. So that's a plus. And then the 2 out here and the 2 in the denominator cancel out. So you get plus 4 squared radical 2 for this term. And then both terms have a 4 squared, so we factor out 4 squared. 4 squared, 2 plus radical 2. And then take the square root. So it's 4 radical 2 plus square root 2. And that's AC. So to get AE, that's square root 2 times that. So 4 square root 2 plus radical 2 times square root 2. To multiply the radicals, we multiply the radicans. So 2 plus square root 2 times 2 is 4 plus 2 square root 2. And that is our answer. AE equals 4 square root 4 plus 2 radical 2. So yeah. So here, this is just simplifying the right side and then taking the square root. Here, this is just multiplying the radicans. Hopefully, you can do that on your own. But the real trick to this problem, you really have to notice, is this square, AGEC. Without AGEC, you can't solve this problem. I mean, you can solve this problem because there are other solutions. But this is like the trick you have to realize in order to solve this problem quickly. There is another trick to this problem, though, where you draw a circle around the octagon. And then here we have a triangle. Um, the, with the radii, and then the side length is 4, so we get, using law of cosines, that the radii is a squared root 4 plus 2 radical 2 all over 2, and then the diameter is 2 times that, That's and then the a is the diameter. So you get the same answer, but using a circle instead of using the square method we did. But either way, you have to have some kind of trick to solve this problem, and because as you can see here, AE, if we try to like solve it using the vertices in between, there's just too many vertices there. There's, this is like a pentagon, AE, FGH. So you somehow have to break it into a s simpler way of dealing with things, like a square or a circle. So that's really the trick to this problem. You have to get it down into something simpler, since octagons and then this pentagon is just too complicated. So yeah. Um... That's how you solve this problem. I hope that this was a fun problem for you. I thought it was interesting. And have fun doing math!